Perhaps you're serving on a board for the first time, or you're being asked to serve on the first time, wondering should I or not? Or you've been on a board for several years but never had any board training. Or maybe you're a senior executive wondering how do I work with the board? Well, I served on a board for, a board at Focus on the Family for 31 years. Ted Engstrom served on the board for eight, 13 years. One day we were having a discussion, he said, Bob, you've consulted with a lot of boards, I've served on 40 boards, uh, have you got anything in writing that you could, you could uh, let me lecture from? He said, I've, I've, I've been on boards a lot, but I've never written anything on it. So I said, sure, let me, let me go back to the office and come up with some things. So I went back and I sent him a stack about like this of handouts I'd use with boards, or etc. And uh, on the top I wrote, what, what if we wrote a, wrote a book on this? He wrote back and said, let's do it. So to shorten the story, Boardroom Confidence is the book that we wrote together after his serving on 40 boards and my consulting with probably by now 100 boards. But this is the probably seventh or eighth edition of this. Uh, it's a proven book. A lot of boards just say, uh, look, none of us really know or served on a lot of boards. Let's just all read it and whatever the book says, we'll agree that's our policy, okay? A lot of them do that. And basically what the, board, the boardroom uh, confidence uh, book is designed to do is to give you one thing, and that is confidence. Confidence is always a byproduct of predictability in every area of your life. But if you don't know what to do, how to do it, where to do it, when to do it, how to do it, in going into boardrooms, you don't go in there with a lot of confidence. You go in there with a lot of mystery and com discomfort and anxiety. So what we've tried to do is develop a process for you where uh, we go through agreeing on board basics, selecting board members, orienting board members, uh, learning board skills, maximizing board meetings and retreats, uh, evaluating board members, advanced board meeting, uh, advanced training for board members, uh, selecting the right senior executive. Often that's what you have to do as a board, replace a senior executive. Drafting a master plan, completing the master plan, implementing the master plan, evaluating a senior executive, advanced training for senior executive, and an effective team, the board and the senior executives. The, each one of these squares is a whole chapter in this book, giving you a lot of predictability. When it comes to those subjects, from now on you have the ability to read the thing and know exactly what to do next. What I'd like to have you do is order a copy of this book, read it yourself. I guarantee you it'll increase your boardroom confidence. Then give one to each one of your staff or let them read yours. Often they, uh, people like their own to mark up as they choose. But when everyone on your board has read the same material and making the same assumptions, it leads to much greater team unity on the board. And it gives your entire board boardroom confidence.